Okay, so simple couple dollar uh, standard oil pressure switch. It runs the idiot light in your car. There are actually two of these, well, in a Volkswagen, in my car. Um, one is for, uh, holy crap, you're kind of low on oil pressure, I'm going to start flashing a light. The other one is, oh my god, shut your car off right now, uh, here's a buzzer, uh, your engine's just about fried. Now, people with rally cars, as I'm sure you're looking back at me saying, you know, pot calling the kettle black here, spend a lot of money on a lot of really ridiculous stuff. Um, one thing I can't buy in on is really caring about uh, knowing exactly what your oil pressure is. Pretty much you're either going to have oil pressure or you're not going to have oil pressure. And the amount of time uh, uh, between when you have oil pressure to when you don't have oil pressure is very minimal. So really all you need is the, the big idiot light and the big buzzer. Um, no amount of little granular you're not going to be looking down while you're ripping down a stage road at 70 miles an hour going, I think my oil pressure is about 5 PSI too low. I better pull over. Um, you know, it just doesn't matter. I'm much more concerned about, uh, you know, knowing my coolant temperature or knowing my fuel pressure or something like that. Um, I'll spend money on those gauges. Um, oil pressure, I don't think I really care. I, I want to know that I have it and uh, I want to know when I don't have it and I don't need to spend a whole bunch of money to know exactly how much I have but you know I, I've never seen an oil pressure or an oil pump half fail you either have it or you don't your engine's blowing up or it's not so um, I'm fine with having two of these switches knowing that you know if I if I put two of them in I've got some redundancy and I'll kinda know oh my god I'm about to have a problem or I totally have a problem pull over right now so um, think about the things that you're going to spend a whole ton of money on and, and try to do it in a somewhat educated manner. Uh, now that's a trade-off for me, obviously I'm, it appears as if I'm blowing a lot of money on stuff, but I am trying to make sort of educated trade-offs on, I don't really need to know exactly down to the tenth of a PSI what my oil pressure is, so right now this little sensor is good enough for me.